Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to the channel where today you join me for a video that may end up with some bleeding ears. Behind me is Mike's Ferrari LaFerrari with straight pipes. This is going to be one of the noisiest cars I have ever filmed and currently it is sitting here awaiting a cold start. When it's up and running, we'll jump in and go for a ride and I have a feeling this is going to be pretty epic. The Ferrari LaFerrari sitting here in the garage alongside an Italian cousin in the form of the Pagani Huayra BC which we actually just took out for a ride and then Mike very kindly allowed me to take the wheel to experience driving it but today it is all about the very best from Maranello, their hybrid hypercar which is quite literally named the Ferrari if you translate it back from Italian. Now it's loaded with technology, the carbon tub, the hybrid system but I think my favourite bit has to be what you have back here, the mid-rear mounted 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12. Everything you want to hear, 12 cylinders of naturally aspirated glory and Ferrari have always made some of the very best engines. Now there are 500 LaFerrari coupes and just over 200 Apertas, the convertible version and I don't think any of them really needed a different exhaust system. They are very loud to begin with, I can tell you from experience but I rather believe that the sound we're about to hear coming out of these quad tailpipes, two on each side at the back, is going to be completely completely deafening and ear bleeding because like I said it's a straight pipe system there's still a muffler in there but it's substantially louder than the standard LaFerrari now just as a reminder before we jump in and go for a ride later on Take a look in here, the seats are literally part of the tub, they don't move, the driver moves the steering wheel and the pedal box. This is race car for the road, it has things like an active spoiler back here that will pop out and tuck back in as you're on the go to adjust for downforce. Of course the doors are supercar in the way that they open from the roof mechanism, they had to be reworked on the convertible. It's all open and flowing and look at the insect like door mirrors, I've always particularly liked that touch. But I think what we need to do now is grab mic because I want to hear what this sounds like and I'm pretty sure that you guys do too. We're joined then by Mike, how's it going? Good. Are you ready to cause some pain here to anybody listening on headphones? <laughs> I think it's about to get really quite noisy in this room yeah. so the Huayra BC is obviously a pretty good sounding car but I'm led to believe by Mike that when we hear this cold start now it's going to get pretty wild so I'm hanging outside the garage to prevent myself from literally having bleeding ears as a result of this. I'm ready when you are. Try to get it in the back. Try to get to the back? Yes. You want me to come to the back of this? Yes. Oh goodness me. I'm just gonna stand away and put a finger in my ear. Yes. Uh, uh, literally, if anybody could see me right now, I'm, I'm literally doing this with fear for what this is gonna sound like. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Home, but let's take a step inside the LaFerrari and get ready for this. So, swinging down inside the tub here. Oh, what a place to be. It's actually quite a lot quieter in here. No, with the windows there. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that just, that just opened our ears to a whole world of noise. But, such a That's special car. Idle. Yeah, I know. This is just idle noise. It's utterly unbelievable. What? At 25 miles per hour? No way. Sorry for the low sun guys. It's right in front of us. But no. <laughs> Okay then, let's hear this. Oh goodness me. 
Uh oh! Well, not only is this car ridiculously fast, but the noise is completely all-encompassing. It dominates the entire experience of being in the car. In fourth, it's quite civilized. With the indicator clickers going on. I see a normal car right now. But then I know as soon as you do a downshift from here. Oh, that was just like 3,000 RPM and it's still absurd. Electric, electric mode. <laughs> wow. Off. Ah, so that just works at a couple of miles an hour, right? When you put uh, it in electric, or like when you go really slow miles for, an hour? for parking and stuff, basically. Yeah. You can't even touch the throttle. As soon as you touch the throttle, okay, then the engine kicks off. Yeah, ah, so it's just like a creep Trip crawling kind of thing. Only creepy. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, goodness me. Well, I'm just going to say that the power of the LaFerrari is mental. I mean, it's near on a thousand horsepower now. And it's instant with the hybrid system. Yeah. All the power straight away. We've got a very low sun at the moment, so please do excuse me for that, guys. But, in any case, this is an experience and a half. It's so bubbly and snappy. Not even at high RPMs, it still makes that sound. So the craziest thing with this is opening up the windows makes it so much louder, as we're probably now going to experience. So please do excuse the wind noise, but the crackles, those first gear cracks are incredible. So bubbly, I mean, how, how else do you describe them? They're just really, really loud. And now we enter the freeway for a small section. <laughs> Daily car, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yes. <laughs> Daily driven straight pipe LaFerrari. <laughs> and it's the best thing ever. Literally the best thing ever. Oh, that snap. Shame about the little bit of traffic we've got now, but fingers crossed we can find a way. Woohoo! That is such a good view behind. Let me drive this as well to experience the laugh. Why not? Right? With the open exhaust. Game on! Okay, then out we hop. It's actually really easy to get out of here with this very low sill. Let's go around towards the other side. Man, I love this thing. Whew. Okay. Let's take a step inside. Alright. Pull the door down. It's time for the experience of the LaFerrari. Here we are. Goodness me, Manatino in race. Maybe we should start with that in sport. Just, <laughs> just to be on the sensible side. Right, let me pass you this then. Okay, okay. Whew, okay, seven speed dual clutch. Got some cars coming, so I'll just give them a moment just to go past, get myself comfortable, feels good. Maybe just slightly adjust the mirrors, which do like that. Cool, okay, here we go, into gear. We're in manual. We've got an empty road. The sound. The sound is just... And that's gently driving. This is not even being particularly aggressive with it. Ferrari is you immediately realize how pinpoint precise 
nice is the steering is so connected and I'm just gently going along here. The pedals have very little travel, the throttle and the brake massively sensitive. Down to third, down to second, down to first. And then, by the way, you can pull both paddles, go into neutral, and then, uh, <laughs> it revs up so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, right, green light, that means... <laughs> I suppose I better put it into race and try even more aggressive shifts and the LaFerrari race really hones the thing down even more. I'm a happy bunny right now. This is epic. That Ferrari is just epic. Squared off steering wheel, you've got the shift lights up at the very top of it. The floating controls here for automatic, and reverse and the like. Digital displays in front of you, it has track telemetry through a USB port under the dashboard. And it just does this, but it does it so smoothly to be honest. We put the car into bumpy road. And it softens the suspension a little bit, but it's not that crazy aggressive. It's just really loud. I'm about to get my first sense of a little bit of tunnel then. Let's slow it down, Marge. And I lost my sunglasses. They fell off the back of my head. <laughs> Again. So much power in this car. <laughs> sound though, the sound in the tunnel, even at slow speeds, it's just... I don't know how to describe it to be honest because it's such a sweet symphony, it's a lovely, lovely noise. And then down into first you get those cracks. <laughs> Grab it inside the garage and your ears will bleed. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to be driving this on a racetrack, it's so blisteringly precise but powerful. And it feels, it feels easy to drive hard, that's the thing with the LaFerrari, it's not intimidating, it's not a scary car to push on with. Much less so I would say than say the Huayra BC. I feel like this is a car that you can be more friendly with immediately. What a crazy experience. I'm not going to forget this one in a hurry, driving in the LaFerrari. Swap back around, but the start even on the inside is truly nuts. LaFerrari, well and truly, the Ferrari. Here we go then. The LaFerrari has a lift system by the way, up and down. We are back. I need to park it up again. But the one thing we need to do before we park it up is hear what it sounds like from outside. But <laughs> in the garage. In the garage. Are we really doing that? Yes. Really and truly. You're gonna set off the Pagani's alarm. <laughs> no, it's not it's not loud, so it's oh, not perfect. Set it no off. problem then. All right, let me hop out then and uh, enjoy some grumbles as the car goes back into the garage. That's so loud! Honestly, the idle noise in here, just idling in the garage, that sound is loud enough on its own. And that's before we hear any more noise out of it, where it's probably going to get even wilder. Sorry, Paul Pagani, you're about to be deafened. <laughs> the boxes at the back. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't come in. I wouldn't be able to come in. That was so loud. You blew the boxes, the cardboard boxes at the back. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> give us, give us one. Wow! Flaming! <laughs> well, there we go. We've seen some flames out of the back of it as well. Absolutely deafening. My ears 
genuinely hurt. That one that I didn't have a finger in because it's holding the camera is now a little bit sore. But that was the noise of the LaFerrari blowing the cardboard boxes all over the place behind it. Wow, if you touch those exhaust tips right now, you will be burnt. That would not be a good idea. And silence, there we that go. That was from the Aventador before. Oh really? <laughs> That's from uh, revving the Aventador in the garage. You cooked the garage wall. <laughs> oh well. well, I was a bit worried you might cook a cardboard box, to be honest, when I saw flames coming How out. How about the flames? Uh, about a, a foot or so, maybe. This one? Yeah, that kind of thing, a little flame out of the back. Well, the Aventador's like this long. Yeah, true. The Aventador makes a massive fireball. Well, there we go. The LaFerrari. The loudest LaFerrari in the world, I reckon. Potentially one of the loudest cars in the world, based on our experience today. Awesome to be able to get behind the wheel. Big thanks to Mike for that. I'm just trying to take this in right now because, well, firstly, my head is spinning from the sound just then of the rev. Secondly, my ears aren't working properly. And thirdly, that car is just mega. Every possible word I could use like epic would describe what this has been about just getting behind the wheel again actually it's such a precision tracked focus tool you don't feel scared about it though that's what's so crazy you've got nearly a thousand horsepower but you can jump in and just drive the thing oh anyway wow thank you very much Mike appreciate it thank, thank you, you. To America. <laughs> thank you for the experience with your cars no and today with the straight pipe LaFerrari Goodness, I didn't think I'd ever actually say that, but there we have it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've certainly enjoyed filming this afternoon. So Mike's Instagram link is down in the description below. Do go check out his page. But that is it for this time. I will see you again very soon. Cheers.